lift your focus according to the manufacturer's recommendations and remove the front wheel. Disconnect the OEM brake line bracket from the suspension. Follow the line to where it meets the hard line on the chassis. Loosen the connector fitting and remove the clip. Finish unscrewing the OEM rubber line and quickly screw on your capped wheelwood flex line. Install a new clip to secure the fitting. Slide the suspension fitting off the OEM line and use it again later. Unbolt and slide off the OEM brake caliper and the rotor. Remove the dust shield by removing the three bolts that hold it in place. Assemble your new Willwood hat and rotor by placing the rotor over the hat. Place one washer over each hole. Apply red Loctite to the threads of the bolts and torque them down in a crisscross pattern. Place a washer on each bolt and insert your new caliper mounting bracket bolts. The kit uses shims to center the caliper. Start off with one shim and hold off using a new Loctite until proper alignment is ensured. Line up the bracket and thread in the bolt. Torque the bolts down to the provided specs. Install the hat registration ring with the bevel facing outward. Slide on the hat and rotor assembly, securing it in place using three lug nuts. Initially place two shims and one spacer on the caliper mounting studs. These shims set the height the caliper rides on the rotor. Prep the caliper by wrapping the 90 degree brake line fitting with thread tape. Thread in the fitting so the outlet ends up facing up in line with the caliper body. Slide on the caliper and secure it using a washer and nut. Check to make sure the caliper is centered over the rotor and also check that the edge of the pads are even with the edge of the rotor. Once everything is properly shimmed, reassemble but this time use Loctite. Secure the pads with the provided bolt, nut, and spacer. Complete the installation of the Willwood flex line by reusing the bracket and grommet that routes the line by the suspension. Uncap the line and thread it onto the 90 degree brake line fitting at the caliper. Now we're going to take a look at the rear kit, but make sure before you ever drive on the streets that you carefully follow the brake bleeding and bedding procedure. Do not drive on untested brakes. Remove the rear wheel. Brake free the brake line fitting at the chassis mounting location and also the grommet on the suspension. We're going to reuse the grommet during reassembly. Remove the clip from the chassis bracket. Thread off the OEM rubber line and then quickly cap it using your new Willwood flex line with a cap on the end. Tighten down the connection and secure it using a new clip. Remove the two OEM caliper bolts. Slide off the caliper and the rotor. Place one washer on each of the bracket mounting bolts and initially place two shims onto each bolt. These shims can be adjusted to center the caliper. Line up the bracket and thread in the bolts. Torque the bolts to spec. Install two shims onto the caliper mounting studs. These shims adjust the height the caliper rides on the rotor. Place your new rotor over the hat with one washer over each hole. Apply red Loctite to the threads of each bolt and tighten them down in a crisscross pattern. Install the hat registration ring onto the hub with the bevel facing out. Slide on the hat and rotor and secure it in place using three lug nuts so you can check alignment. Assemble your banjo bolt fitting onto the rear caliper with a crush washer on each side of the provided banjo bolt. Install pads and glide the rear caliper assembly onto the studs and secure with a washer and a nut. Make any necessary shim adjustments and reassemble using Loctite. Route your new Willwood flex line through the rubber grommet on the suspension. Connect the flex line to the fitting at the caliper and secure it. Complete assembly instructions are provided with the purchase of your big brake kit, including the installation of the parking brake lines. Before driving on the streets, carefully follow the brake bleeding and bedding procedure. Do not drive on untested brakes.